Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty stash or welcome if it is your first time here. Hello, my name is Steph. I would love to have you become part of our makeup family. So be sure to click on that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. I am super excited for today's video because I am sitting down with the brand new Nomad Cosmetics Paradise Islands eyeshadow palette i am so excited for this i love the beach guys I, i've told you this before every summer i take a beach vacation i leave the country to go to a beautiful beach the same is gonna happen this year because i've already booked my beach vacation and it's going to be on the pacific side unfortunately it's not going to be in bora bora or tahiti where this palette is based off of but it's going to be a nice beach somewhere so this is the new paradise islands palette now right here it says I'm sure it says paradise island but I don't know how to pronounce the first word um paraiso right here I think I'm pronouncing that one right but the first one I don't know and I don't even want to try to pronounce it but look at the sea turtles on there and the, li the little beach huts over here <sighs> guys Bora Bora is definitely on my bucket list let me know if you guys have been um i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there one of these days but here is the beautiful color story in my opinion this is an updated pastel color story for nomad cosmetics a lot of you when i was doing the um natasha denona pastel palette video you mentioned this one from nomad cosmetics which they were kind enough to send me along with the new palette so i did receive both of these in pr but this is the tokyo palette look at this how beautiful i don't know why i didn't have this already in my collection but i'm happy i have it now i do want to uh, create a video for you guys where I'm using both palettes together because I think they're definitely going to be beautiful complements of one another but I'm not going to do that in today's video I am going to be creating four looks with the new Paradise Islands eyeshadow palette just so that we can give this its moment now for those of you that are unfamiliar with Nomad Cosmetics this is a Texas based indie makeup brand and they are centered the whole premise of the brand is based around Felician Auntie, the owners, their travels, their travel destinations worldwide, places that have just taken their breath away or really left a beautiful mark on their hearts. And they then feature that location through one of their eyeshadow palettes or makeup collections. This time it is Tahiti and Bora Bora in this 18 pan eyeshadow palette. Now in here, we're getting eight mattes, eight shimmers and two duo chromes. Now they did send me this little postcard here with some information about this particular palette. I do want to read quickly um, the story and the cause. Now with all Nomad Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes or makeup collections, they do donate a portion of the proceeds to benefit a local charity from wherever the palette destination is. So in this case, Bora Bora and Tahiti. The story behind this palette, it says, let's travel scape to paradise, the blissful utopia Pacific islands like Tahiti and Bora Bora, Bora with warm breeze, cool waters, and peaceful solitude create a sense of harmony and rejuvenation. Breathtaking surroundings of lush tropical forests, pink sand beaches, and sparkling sea life remind us that sometimes the greatest escape is found in connecting with Mother Nature. 100% believe that. And that's why for me, every summer, the epitome of the word vacation is equals the beach the beautiful water the white sand just all of that in front of the water is exactly how i like to spend my vacation now there are two different local charities to tahiti and bora bora that nomad cosmetics will be donating a portion of the proceeds from this palette too it says we are so proud to support two organizations that protect the pacific's vibrant ecosystem i hope i'm gonna pronounce this right this is the mana or the mona and coral gardeners adopt a coral so those are the two charities from Tahiti and Bora Bora that Nomad Cosmetics um, will be donating a portion of their profits from this Paradise Islands palette. Guys, I cannot wait to create four looks for you all using this new eyeshadow palette from Nomad Cosmetics. I will insert swatches before we start creating the first look. And of course, I will come back on at the end, share with you my thoughts, my initial first impressions, everything that I'm using will be 
be, of course, linked in the description box of today's video. Some of those links might be affiliate links, so if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. One last thing, you guys are going to be seeing me use a lot of refer brushes today. Don't forget that the refer brush sale is happening right now, 40% off site-wide. I will have my affiliate link in a pinned comment, and it's always in the description box in case you want to pick up any new makeup brushes and a new moisturizer because their new moisturizer is pretty good. Let's dive on into this gorgeous palette, guys. If you all wanna see the four looks I'm about to create with the brand new Nomad Cosmetics Paradise Islands eyeshadow palette, keep on watching. I've already primed my eyelids using the newly reformulated Too Faced 24 hour insurance eyeshadow primer. I've been loving it. Love it. Absolutely love it. It doesn't crease or anything. It's a really good, really good eyeshadow primer. So let's get started. Oh, I am so excited. So excited for this. Look at the greens. This one right here. I live for a shade like this, like all day long. I cannot wait for this. I mean, this whole row right here in the middle, like, this is me all day. I love that. So we're gonna start with that shade. So let's just go in with the shade. The shade is called Tiki. Now I'm taking Tiki on a refer 15. That shade is beautiful. Let me know what some of your favorite Nomad Cosmetics palettes are. I love the America's Parks palette because there's a lot of green in that one. I also like their past, their most recent release, other than this one, the Whistler Snow Lodge. That was a really nice palette too. Look at this green. Stunning. All right, now on a refer 14, I'm gonna go into the blue down here. This one is called, oh no, I don't know how to pronounce that. Huahain? Huahain? I don't know. I am so sorry if I'm going to be mispronouncing some of these shade names. I think I'm just going to point. If I don't know how to pronounce, I'll just point. And when, when you get it home, you can, uh, you can look at the shade name and then you can tell me how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh, look at these together. Beautiful. I'm just taking the Refer 15, the brush I used for the green shade. All right, so I think that looks beautiful. Looks perfect, perfect. Now for the, I think I'm gonna do like the matte shades first. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with this shade and I'm also gonna use the darker green. And wait, am I gonna do that? Actually, maybe we should do like one of the coral shades. Ooh, yeah, let's see. Um, Let me try this one. I think I'm gonna do maybe a combination of this one and this one instead. So I'm gonna take Mana and I'm taking that on a Refer 26. I do have some mascara on from earlier in the day. What is the one I'm wearing? I'm using the Pat, uh, Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. Oh yeah, perfect, good choice. Actually, I think I might do that shimmer shade on the lid I was gonna do I was gonna do one of like the green or blue shimmers but now that I'm using this one on the lower lash line I think we can bring in some of this color to the lid okay so now I'm gonna go in with moon I'm taking moon on a damp refer 21 and I pick the shade up first and then I spray the brush with setting spray Adding a little bit more of this dark blue. The one I don't know how to pronounce. Uh, adding a little bit more of this shade down here. I'm gonna do something for the inner corner. 
I think I'm gonna try going in with the green one right here. This one is called Fish. And I'm taking Fish on a damp refer 03. Wow. Okay guys, I think I'm just gonna add some eyeliner, a little bit more mascara, and I'll be right back to show you this completed look number one. All right guys, here's the completed look number one. Let me tell you what I added. Uh, for the lower waterline, I went in with this NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner. This one is in the shade Cosmic Yellow. And this beautiful green that you see on the top lash line is courtesy of the Glisten Cosmetics Split Liner. This is a water-activated liner, so you have two different shades. I went in with, of course, the darker green. And all I do is you can just put a little bit of water in the cap. I use this Bioderma Hydro Bio Mist. I spray it in the cap and I get my teeny tiny little BK Beauty 208 brush. Is it 208 or 206? Yeah, 208. And then I pick up some of the water that's in the cap and I swirl it around in here and then I start drawing. This is the perfect brush to use these types of product with. And I love them. I got these from Beauty Bay. I have several different shades, which you might see me use throughout the video today. And they're just perfect. Keep your eye closed for a little bit so that um, it can set. But I love it. I tried to use it in the waterline, didn't like that. But of course, on the top lash line or even just on the lower lash line, that would work great too. Didn't like it in the waterline. Uh, mascara, the Pat McGrath Dark Star. I think that's about it. Yeah. That's about it. Love the way the look turned out. A little bit different. I liked combining the colors together. Colors that you otherwise maybe wouldn't pair together. I think it looks really cool. Let's jump over to the left eye and start working on look number two. Okay, so for look number two, I want to use, I think I'm going to start with this shade right here. This shade is called Seashell, and I am going to work that in the crease. And I'm using a Refer 16. This is a beautiful shade. It's still pastel, but it has a little bit of depth to it, you know? Like you can build it up. I think this is just like the perfect medium. The palette, the shades are like the perfect in between of being a pastel and like a brighter palette. The matte shades are just so easy to work with, so easy to blend out. There is kick up in the pan, so just be careful. I haven't gotten any fallout, so that's good. Now there's not a deeper purple shade, so I think I'm just gonna try and deepen this up as much as I can. And then we're gonna play with some of the shimmer shades. So next, I'm gonna go in, let's see. Um, I'm kind of curious about this shade. I was thinking this one was a matte and I was gonna put this in the outer corner, but it's not, this is a the shimmer shade. Um, you know what? Let's just try it anyway. Let's just try this one. It's called Morea, I think. M-O-O-R-E-A. And I'm going to treat it like a matte. I'm going to pick it up on a Refer 14. And let me just see. Let's see what it does. Now for a shimmer shade, this would not be the brush I would use. But since I just kind of want to blend it right here, that's why I'm using this brush. I think it's doing okay. It's giving the effect that I want. So if you were to use it with like the Refer 21, which is a flat brush, then and spray it, like you would definitely get a different effect with the shade. But I kind of just want it to deepen up this outer corner a little bit and it is serving that purpose. Now I'm gonna try going in with this shade right here. This one is called Tahiti. I'm taking that on a damp Refer 21. Just placing that in the center. Now with the same brush, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This one is called Whale. I did spray the brush. That's pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit more of Tahiti. And Morea. 
Going back in with Seashell, the first shade I used. Now on a damp refer 03, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is the first one. It's called Bora Bora. This one is a very shifty shade. That's what I noticed in the swatch. So see, it's like a, a purple to blue. Mm, that's beautiful, especially for the inner corner. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go back in with this shade. And I'm going to spray it on a refer 26. You can see that it, that spraying it gives it a different effect. It even deepens it. All right, guys, I'm going to add some liner and a little bit more mascara, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. Okay, guys, here's the second look. I went in with another one of the Glisten Cosmetics split liners. This one is in the shade Grapevine, and I used the darker shade. For the lower waterline, I went in with an LA Girl uh, Pastel Dreams eyeliner. This one is in the shade Lavender, and this is the look. Love it. Really cool, really nice. Nothing too dark. This is definitely, you know, a lighter look versus this one. I feel like there's a little bit more depth with this one because of that darker green. This one's a little bit more light and airy, just fun. And I love it. Um, I gotta go wash these off, but only so I can come back and create two more for you guys. So stay tuned. All right, guys, let's start creating the third look with this beautiful eyeshadow palette. So let's see. What do I need to do? I haven't used I haven't used the dark green yet. And I haven't used this one. You know what? Let's start with this shade right here. This shade is called Stingray. Have I used Stingray? No, I don't think I've used, I don't think I've used Stingray. I used the shade Whale, but not that one. Actually, scratch that. Let's start with this one right here. The shade is called Dolphin, and then I'm going to go in with Stingray, and then go in with this shade right here. The darker shade is called Lizard. So I'm taking Dolphin on a Refer 16. Ooh, look at that blue. <sighs> the color of the water over there in Tahiti. Wouldn't it be so amazing to stay in one of those little beach huts, like right above the water? That That's the only way I want to experience Bora Bora and Tahiti, in one of those little huts, above water huts. I don't even know what they call them. I'm calling it a hut, but you know what I'm talking about. The bungalows. I think they're like... Is it five grand a night? Two grand a night? I don't know. Something outrageous. Something that I cannot afford right now. That is beautiful. Look, it even matches my earrings. These earrings are Kendra Scott, by the way. I don't know if they're still in stock. I'll, I'll have them linked if they are. Now I'm going in with Stingray on a Refer 14. Wow, those are beautiful. They blended together so well. Now on a refer 13, I'm going in with Lizard. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. The shade is called Shark. And I'm taking Shark on a damp refer 21. The shade is gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, now for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go back in with this one that I used in the first look. This one is uh, the shade I don't know how to pronounce, so I'm not going to try. And I'm taking that on a refer 26. Now on a damp refer 03, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This one is called Ocean. My little cousin is named Ocean. And I think he has, he has a first birthday coming up in a few months. And actually he's at the ocean right now. They are, well it's my cousin's baby. So, you know, my cousin. They are in the Bahamas right now. Or getting back from the Bahamas. 
Okay, guys, love this. This is just, this is the water. This is the water, the gorgeous water in Tahiti and Bora Bora. Let me add some eyeliner, some more mascara, and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number three. All right, guys, here's the completed look number three. This is my favorite so far. I love this. I love this so, so much. I just tight line the top lash line um, with my Moira liquid eyeliner. And then for the lower water line, I went in with this one from LA Girl. It is the Neon Shockwave Liner in the shade Fresh. Love it. Beautiful. Teal, blue, everything. Just so, so good. Now let's jump over to the left eye and start creating the fourth and final look with the new Nomad Cosmetics Paradise Islands Palette. Alright guys, so for the fourth and final look, I need to use this shade which is called Sky and I haven't used this shade either. So I'm going to start with Sky in the crease and then I will probably bring in this shade right here. This one is called Mana and um, work that in the crease as well. I'm taking Sky on a rougher 27. Now on a refer 14, I'm going in with the shade Mana. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This one is called Sun. And I'm using a damp Morphe M124. All right, I'm going to try adding a little bit of moon. I'm going to pick it up with my finger. Is that what it's called? Yeah, moon. And I'm going to place it out here. That's such a pretty shade. Nice, like, orange shimmer. All right, guys. So with that, I've officially used all the shades in the palette. So for the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go in. Let's see. I think I'm going to go in with the green. This one, both of these, a combination of both of the greens. Actually, you know what? Oh my goodness, I haven't used this shade, the Green Shimmer Turtle. Okay, so we definitely gotta do green on the lower lash line. I'm gonna start first with Tiki, which is the lighter matte green, and then go in with Lizard, and then go in with Turtle, like on the inner corner. So I'm taking Tiki on a refer 12. Now I'm going in with a lizard, which is the darker green. This is just a little BH Cosmetics pencil brush. Now I'm going in with turtle on that same little BH Cosmetics pencil brush and I did spray it. Wow, that's a beautiful green shimmer. Add a little bit more of lizard. Okay guys, let me add liner, some more mascara, and I'll be right back to show you this fourth and final look. All right guys, here is the fourth and final look. What do you guys think? I had to do something colorful up here on the top lash line. I went in with this one from Melt. It was part of the Mariposa collection that was released in the fall. I don't think this one is available anymore. If you can find it, it's probably on the Melt website and it's in the shade Concha. Love this one so much. For the lower waterline, I went in with this one from ColourPop. It is the cream gel liner in the shade Teaspoon. And this is the look. So much fun. I've had so much fun playing with some of my colorful eyeliners as well, incorporating them um, in the looks with this new uh, Paradise Islands eyeshadow palette from Nomad. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and share with you my final thoughts. All right, guys. So in case you don't know, I love this palette from Nomad Cosmetics. The Paradise Islands palette, you do get a mirror up here. Beautiful. 18 amazing shades, eight matte, eight shimmer, two duochrome. Beautiful. I didn't even really get fallout. I don't even think I got fallout. There is kick up in the pan, but I mean, all of the shades performed so well. The matte shades 
perfection. The shimmer shades, beautiful. I always like to spray my shimmer shades, so I recommend you do that. But Nomad Cosmetics has always done shimmers really well, really well. And I think their matte formula keeps getting better and better with each palette that they release. I love the color story. I think it is beautiful. I think it is definitely a different take on a pastel palette. I would say these are all of the colors that you would find in Tahiti and Bora Bora. Uh, and hopefully one day I will go there and find out and I'll take this palette along for the ride. But um, man, this was, this was beautiful. This is the perfect spring palette, spring into summer eyeshadow palette. I think I might take this with me on vacation this summer. My vacation is coming up because I'm going early in the summer this year. So I love it. Nomad Cosmetics, Felicia and Auntie, thank you so much for sending this palette my way. Guys, this palette is going to launch Monday night, which is April 4th, uh, but early on uh, April the 5th, which is Tuesday. So I think it's like at 12 a.m. EST um, on April the 5th, which would be 11 p.m. CST here in Texas um, on April the 4th. So I will most definitely keep you guys updated in the community section and over on my Instagram. I'm going to try again and do another video featuring this palette and the Tokyo palette, which is the palette I showed you earlier that they sent to me because I think they're going to be beautiful companion palettes. Guys, this color story is kind of what I wanted the Natasha Denona pastel palette to be. I just I, I liked this color story a lot better and I liked it because we had a few of those deeper tones to where I could deepen up the look if I wanted to. And for me, I just feel like pastels can wash me out. I'm just not used to seeing myself in pastel shades. So I was really pleased with the color story, with the colors that they included, because I felt it was just the happy medium. A little bit of pastel, a little bit of depth, just right there in the middle. And all of these fun eyeliners that I was able to incorporate. I just had so much fun playing with this palette and I'm sure you guys could tell. But let me know your thoughts, guys. Is this something that you're gonna be picking up? I wanna say this is gonna retail for $39. If not, it's like maybe 42 or 45. Um, I will have all of that in the description box of today's video. And don't forget, I used all refer brushes, 40% off site-wide sale. That will be in a pinned comment, my affiliate link, in case you want to check it out. And if you do, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Guys, do I have a code? I think I have a code. Oh my goodness. I think I have a code with Nomad Cosmetics. I think it is Steph10. Steph10. <laughs> I'll give you 10% off of your order. I forget. I'm just so caught up. I'm just so happy that I received the palette in PR. I forget to tell you my code. I, it's not an affiliate code. I don't make any money off of the, the Nomad Cosmetics link or that code. It is just for you guys to save 10% off of your order. So yeah, that's going to be, I'm probably going to add that to the intro, like at the bottom, the way I'm doing right now. And it will most definitely, actually my code is always in the description box of all my videos, all of my codes and links and stuff. So Guys, it is already, you know, I think it's almost 9, it's 8.30. It's going to be 8.30. I have been filming pretty much since I got home from work. So it's been a long day. I'm glad I was able to end it with this new Nomad Cosmetics palette and with you guys here watching me at home. And let me know, guys, let me know which look you liked best. Are you team one, two, three, four, none? Sound off in the comments down below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.